Hello, my beautiful Aquariuses. Welcome to your horoscope forecast for new love or extra turns. I want to thank you guys so much for liking, sharing, and subscribing. And thank you to my members. I really appreciate all of your support. And if you guys would like a live person reading with me, you can go to my website, jenniferwalkerzen.com, or check out the description box below. And if you guys would be interested in taking my class that I have available. Um, I have been reading Tarot since I've been 14 years old, so I have a lot to teach you guys. And you can sign up at my website, jenniferwalkerzen.com, or check out the description box below. All right, so what are we gonna talk about today? We're gonna talk about new love first, Aquarius. Then we're gonna talk about extra turns. And if you guys like it this way, you want me to continue this way, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. You can do both. Let's jump right in. Let's move this over here. Does Aquarius have Huge potential for new luck in the next three months. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. All right, let's take a look here. Oh my goodness, we got the King of Cups coming out. We got the Ten of Pentacles. We got the Three of Wands. We got the Two of Cups. We have the Five of Pentacles. We have the Two of Wands. We have the Chariot. We have the King of Swords, we have the Three of Pentacles, and we have the World card. Okay, let's talk about it. All right, so I can see that there is this very deep love here with the King of Cups energy. Could be a Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy in the current there. Um, so definitely feel like someone's like looking at you like, yo, Aquarius, you are the best decision for me when it comes to love and romance here. Okay, let's keep going. Does Aquarius have huge potential for new love in the next three months? Show me cards you to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Let's take a look at the next card here. There seems to be a lot of weird, uh, of, I'm about to say weird, fear and worry here, anxious energy, suspicion, anxiousness, like, is this too good to be true? Okay, so does Aquarius have huge potential for new love in the next three months? Show my cards you need to see, show my cards I need to see. Because there is something about this situation that feels like it's a little bit off, it's like sly and slick, all right? Let's use this deck. Does Aquarius have huge potential for new love? In the next three months. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Um, there seems to be some type of criticism here. Someone feels overwhelmed, attacked, fearful about the situation. We see the blockage in this uh, situation here, as far as new love goes, is Ten of Pentacles. So it could be family. Family could be part of the reason or the blockage, you know. Sometimes you have, you have a family that has criticisms towards, um, I know it's not everybody. It could also be because work, right? Because money, finance going on here. Let's go further. We see there's some sense of despair here. And we see that it's because concerns of like partying, going out, you know, maybe a lack of socializing for some of you when it comes to new love and a sense of despair around it because of having to work or money and finance. And then going further here, let's go further. There could be concerns about wanting to have a, um, a long-term commitment relationship. So possibly maybe you don't feel like the choices that you have are gonna lead to some kind of commitment as well. So let's keep going. So your foundation, you're waiting for the right opportunity. You're waiting for something to come to light here. You are getting attention. You are getting noticed, but it's like you're wanting to make the wisest decision here. And we see you're surrendering to that. Let's go further, okay. So we see what happened in the past. There was somebody that you felt was like, this is my soulmate. I'm in love with this person. And it was like a, a mutual love too. And there was a lot of signs around it. Um, it could have been a lack of control here with that emperor card energy and effort. 
So it's like, I put too much effort into this, or I lacked effort, or someone lacked effort putting, uh, putting effort into this connection. We see, ooh, that's why they could have been already been married here, or there was concerns. I can see this in two different ways. There is concerns that, you know, the effort that was put into this wasn't going to lead to some kind of long-term commitment, or there was already a marriage going on here. Okay, in the past. All right, so let's keep going. So your goal is concerns about loss. We see, and we see wanting the option. We see concerns about breakups and toxic relationships. Okay. So you're trying not to get into a situation with a toxic relationship. Okay. So going further here. All right. So we got the two of wands. So in the immediate future, Aquarius is saying you're going to have to make some kind of decision with the Two of Wands energy. And you're going to get some spiritual signs, some confirmations there. So watch out for that. Yeah, your intuition is definitely going to come out and say, hey, uh, there's something here. There's something here. Because there is somebody watching you from afar here. They're trying to get your attention, okay? So your subconscious, there is a want to gain control now I know how you feel, because I feel that way too sometimes, where I just want to hold on, I want the control, I want to know where this is going to go. You know, I feel like you guys really want more control over your situation. You feel like it's hard for you to let go of that control, to surrender to that, and just to see where things go. Because, you know, you may be a long-term planner, you know? Uh, and when you want to plan something, you're just like, I want to know where this is going to go. I don't want to just like keep wasting my time here and going forward and nothing happens. You know, I just want to know what's going on in the subconscious. That's what's showing me. It's like, all right, you're being helpful to me. Are you being, are you single and available to pursue? You know, um, is this going to go somewhere? So it's like, yeah, you want to make sure you're going in the right direction. And you're concerned about finances, money, and something of value here. All right, so what's your influence? King of Swords energy. So your influence is talking about the King of Swords, which is, you know, this Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. There's somebody who's smooth talking to you. They're like trying to say all the right things, do all the right things here. And there is love here with the heart card energy. And let's see, but there seems to be a lot of regrets. Um, so this person may still be dealing with stuff from the past or getting over someone or still healing. And that's causing a lack of effort here. So let's see, hopes and fears. Hope, fearing that there may be a third party, okay. Wanting something to change around that. And at a crossroads, so like people that have indecisions that are not choosing you, okay, that kind of energy. Yeah, wanting someone to just say, okay, this is where I stand with love. So do you have the potential for new love? Absolutely, yes. They have the world card energy there. And we have multiple people because there's an infringing party there. And we see a very happy surprise. And we see because you still have this air of mystery about what you want to do. So this person could be uh, far away, okay? There could be traveling going on with this situation, all right? Or you can accomplish this if you want new love here. It does look like you could have more than one choice here because we see this infringing part of your self-doubt. We see, but there's a happy surprise, but still this air of mystery here. Okay, let's bring it all together. All right. So there's a sense of criticism when it comes to a relationship and you're trying to make the wise decision before you put the effort. We see there's a breakup here of somebody and we see someone's watching you from afar there, there's a sly slick energy, but there's a, they're, they're moving into the right direction here. But there's a lack of effort, but definitely a strong love coming in here and a happy surprise. So someone's coming off of a relationship. That's what the problem is. Okay. It looks like it could have been a marriage. Yep, I hear a motorcycle out there going real fast. Okay, there's a lot of worry and fear because it's partying. Well, when you come off a relationship sometimes, uh, you do tend to uh, deal with, well, when that person, I'll just say from my own experience, that 
Sometimes when people come out of a relationship, sometimes they kind of come off a little bit destructive in their behaviors. So we see there's fear and worry because of this partying. And we see there's some surrendering, we see a marriage and a toxic relationship. And you're listening to your intuition. We see there's something about money and finance and concerns about regrets. And you're at a crossroads because there's still some unknowns here. So you're definitely feeling like this person's like, it's got a lot going on. Okay, so yeah, we see sly slick energy, okay? Sly slick energy and a sense of despair. Someone wants your attention. They're trying to take control and, and spend time together, go out. We see your intuition's like, okay, they're, they're really being there for me. They're being romantic. There's a love connection here. Uh, but, you know, I don't know if this is going to be some kind of massive change. And this person's, and this, is, this case scenario is very interesting for me. Your reading is very interesting, very different. Um, why do I say that? My intuition is saying you're concerned that this person is going to be like Jekyll and Hyde. It's like they're one way, but then are they really another way? I see. I see. Okay. Because they're coming out as someone who says all the right things. Now, I do feel some of you guys have two choices here because I got the two of wands and we have two different separate energies. But I do feel like someone you're dealing with here, you feel like, uh, I see it two different ways. Either it's like, like almost like they have two different personalities or um, there's two different people. Okay, so we have this Cancer Scorpio Pisces energy. We see family long-term and something you've been waiting for. We see uh, a relationship, a soulmate connection, and we see a relationship and we see a loss and we see a choice has to be made. And we see there's strong desires uh, for victory. We see a confession about trying to work together to find a creative solution. You know, possibly we work with this person or there's more than one choice here with the Three of Pentacles energy. And World Card could talk about uh, traveling or accomplishing something here. Something is coming to a completion. So you have to make a decision if you want to complete or accomplish this. We see a deep love connection and concerns of a loss. And we see Ten of Pentacles family long term in a relationship. And we see desires for a victory and trying to figure out how to work together. This, who are you waiting for? Who are you, have you been waiting for? We look here, this King of Cups energy. Um, but of course, there's a logical energy. I need to think with my head. I need to make sure I make an intelligent decision here. And there's definitely a revealing energy here in this travel, this movement and change with the chariot card energy. Um, so just clear cut, it does look like some of you guys have two choices coming in um, and also, or there's, there's a person that seems like they're kind of almost like you're concerned because they're coming off of another relationship and they almost seem like there, there could be two different personalities. So I don't feel like that's for all of you, but that could be for some of you, okay? So let me just give you guys some advice. Of course, I'm sure it's a small percentage of you, but for most of you, it's probably just two choices there. And that other person could just be the other person infringing on you that you have to make a choice about. Okay, so can I have some advice when it comes to my Aquarius's for new love? The highest, best good for the best possible outcome for them. Show me the cards you need to see. Show me the cards I need to say, saying you have choices. You have to make a decision. Saying you have all the resources that you need. Prepare for this powerful change. Trust your intuition. So listen to your intuition, okay? And it's saying you'll be able to adapt to the situation. You know, have playful, have a good time, be in a joyful moment, you know, live in the moment. Don't be so much in the future. Don't be so much in the past. Live in the moment. It's got to be safe for you to love. Pay attention to the signs. You don't have to make anything happen. Just focus on healing and surrendering to the situation and own your power. You have the magic here. So it's saying you're going to just be in that place of gratitude. So for me, that shows me that. And what do I always tell you guys? OK, if we are dealing with a person here that for some of you guys that where you feel like you're not sure about them, 
you always listen to your heart, follow your heart, but also if there is red flags, stop. <laughs> and if there is green lights, go. <laughs> so always pay attention to that when moving forward. All right, so that way, because you know, people will, will, will demonstrate things you're like, oh, oh, you know, long before, long before you get in really deep and like put your heart into it, you'll get those little signs like, ooh, this person's kind of be, gonna be like this. And if they're like this now, what are they gonna be like this in the future? So just be cognizant, okay, for some of you guys. All right, so let's move into your X returns. Okay, so it's gonna be the X that you are here for, the one you wanna know about. So does Aquarius have huge potential for their ex to return in the next three months, the one they're here for, the one that we're about. Do they have huge potential to reconcile with their ex in the next three months? Show me cards you need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Again, I have multiple decks here. Does Aquarius have huge potential to reconcile with their ex love interest in the next three months? Show me cards you need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Does Aquarius have huge potential to reconcile with their ex love interest in the next three months? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Let's use this deck again, sure. Does Aquarius have huge potential to reconcile with their ex love interest in the next three months? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. All right, let's throw down the tarot first. All right, so in the past, what happened? Oh, wow. Lots of sadness, lots of regrets. Um, lots of things happened, that's for sure, with the Five of Cups energy coming out. There was a waiting around. And there was some kind of situation from the past that came up, which caused a breakup. Okay. So let's move this this way. All right. So what are you not seeing about the situation? Four of Pentacles. I want to hold on to you. I'm hopeful. Loyalty, devotion, friendship. I want a commitment. So actually you're not seeing that still there's a want to hold on to this and hopefulness of some kind of relationship commitment. That's, a, that's what you're not seeing. All right. So let's move this out of the way. Okay, where is your person with you in the current moment? Okay, giving, wanting to have a conversation, abundance of reminiscing. So they're really reminiscing uh, about the past. They may be talking to other people about it. Okay, where, uh, okay, so that's, Excuse me, that's the blockage. The blockage is old memories of the past, uh, reminiscing about the past and people, choices, right? So where did they stand with you? This is, this is the past. Uh, this is what you're not seeing, the blockage. And now where did they stand with you in the current? Ending for new beginning. Not sure if they want to put full effort into it, feel trapped in their thoughts because of family. Okay, how do they feel? They realize that you fulfill their desires, Nine of Cups energy. They love you. They love you. And there's concerns about competition, infringing party, or interference with the connection. So far, what do we see? We see this breakup, and we see this commitment, and we see a lot of reminiscing, and we see families causing some infringing. Okay, so how do they feel about reconciling? They want to speak with you. They want to confess the truth. Mean person. They want something to change. And they want to go take you out somewhere. Okay, what's your advice? Look at your options. Make sure you're making the right choice. Don't be confused about what you want. 
you've gained a lot of wisdom, you know what's best for you, be patient before you um, make any power moves or, or uh, maintain control. And it's saying, ask yourself, when it comes to your options, your choices, uh, do you have chemistry? Or who do you have chemistry with? Okay, so let's keep going. So the answer of the question, there can be a choice being made. There could be a, a choice to reconcile with the Two of Cups, or there's a choice, there's still, still some things yet to be decided. When I get two of anything, it's saying actions can be taken, but still something yet to be decided. Let's see, we see there's concerns about loss, and someone is trying to help out here with this. Okay, now I understand. <laughs> um, not a complete reconciliation, but potentially something could happen. Okay, let's bring it together. Okay, so, yeah, so we see there is a breakup and we see a relationship and reminiscing. We see family, third party interference, but then we see it looks like you could potentially go out on a date with this person and um, there could be a lot of chemistry and then there could be a passionate hookup here. Okay, so passionate exercises here. Okay. Because it's the card of like, I don't want to be used. All right, so waiting, hopeful. We see the socializing stuck in my, my head, my thoughts. We see love, massive changes. We see a power move being made, and we see um, someone concerned about being used. Okay. Okay, renewal, memories of the past. We see friendship, loyalty, devotion, lots, lots of abundance of friendship. And we see, I'm not putting full amount of effort. I love you, main person. I wanna be wise about this, but I'm concerned of a loss. So it does seem like because of the concern of the loss, this, a choice will be made here, okay? Lots of regret, I wanna hold on to the situation giving to an ending for a new beginning. You fulfill my desires. I wanna confess my truth to you, but I'm confused about what to do when it comes to having a relationship, being in a relationship, two of cups. Let's say there's huge potential, page of pentacles energy, and flirting, page of wands. Potential passionate situation, page of wands. Let's get you guys some advice, okay? Can I have some advice from my Aquariuses when it comes to oh, their ex love interest for the highest, best good, for the best possible outcome for them? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, let's see here. Okay, so I'm saying if you want to take an action, an ending of a tough cycle approaches, but make sure it's balanced. Because you've got a win-win outcome forecast it. You just have to see the bigger picture here. You no know adjustments will have to be made. Yeah, because obviously it's gonna start out quite passionate there and you wanna make sure that there's going to be the same amount of effort from that person too going forward, okay? Uh, but definitely got luck on your side, but you gotta see the bigger picture here around the situation. So I would say be cognizant of not rushing into anything too much with this person before really knowing the whole picture or where they really stand or where they wanna go with this, okay? All right, my beautiful Aquariuses, of course, I'm only here as guidance. You guys know what's best for you, okay? Follow your heart, listen to your intuition. You know what's best for you. You have free will. You make the final say on this, okay? Um, I love you guys so much. If you guys like it this way, you want to continue this way, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. I'll see you guys another day or two. Have a great rest of your next couple days. I do love reading my comments. So if this resonates, you want to claim this message, or you feel comfortable sharing your own personal situation with me, I would love to hear from you guys in the comments below. I love you guys so much, and I will see you guys soon.